Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and this is the start of a new year and what we want is we want to learn something new. So enough of talking about languages, let's talk about technologies now. Because if you know the base technology, you can build apps, you can solve different problems. So let's talk about those five top five technologies you can learn in this year. So in no particular order, let's start with the first one. And the first one is IOT, which stands for Internet of Things. Now the world is moving towards all the devices should be internet enabled. Example, your mobile phones, your laptops, your tablets, they all are internet enabled, so they are communicating. What about your home ho household devices like your AC, your fridge, your fan, your tube light, all will be internet enabled in future. So they will be able to communicate. And nowadays we have this smart fridge, we have smart TVs, right? So those are part of IoT. In future, there will be some more devices which will be IoT. Now, how it is helpful for developers? It's because if you are making a device which is internet enabled, that means we have to also build apps which can solve user problems. Example, if you have a smart fridge and if you want to know what are the, what are the things we, which are available in your fridge, how will you know? Let's say if you're going to a shopping mart and you don't know what are the things are there in your fridge, your fridge can communicate with you through a mobile phone. So on your mobile phone, you can see what are there in the fridge, right? So that is your internet enabled fridge. So you have to build the apps for your smart fridge. The second one I would, I would go for is cloud computing. Now cloud computing is there from a long time, right? Every company now, they are moving towards cloud. So all the software which we used to use on your desktop machine, now you can access the same applications through cloud. Example, initially we used to work with, uh, we used to store data on the home drive and now we, use, we store data on the Google Drive or we store on Dropbox. Not just storage, it's also about the apps. If you remember those days, you know, we used, to, we used to install MS Office in the machine and now we don't do that. We either use Google Docs or we use Office 365. So everything is happening on cloud. Now it's, just, it's not just about consumer market, it's also about the enterprise market. All different companies, they are moving to clouds now. In fact, the, their own solutions, they are moving towards cloud. So the, the company where I give training even, they are moving to clouds and every employee of that company is learning cloud. So I, I'm sure if you want to be on top of this world in this year, you have to be good with cloud service. Now there are different services available for cloud. We have Google service, we have Amazon service. So what you can do is learn one technology, learn one web service and you will understand everything else because they're not that much different, right? If you know how Amazon web service work, you can work, you can work on Google App Engine as well with some new things. Uh, if you know Amazon web services, you can learn OpenShift. You can, we also have Windows Azure. Uh, oh, Microsoft Azure because they have renamed to, to Microsoft now and so those all are awesome so learn first learn one thing first and then you can uh, you can work on others as well now the third one is big data I just love big data you know uh, I used to always wonder how can I solve this education problem because I feel education should be uh, should be specialized or classified for different people because what we have now is a generalized education system where everyone is learning the same way. How can I create a different solution for different people? And if I want to learn about people, I have to learn about data, right? I want to know how they work. And if I collect all this data, if I put it somewhere, that location will be called as big data. So big data is basically a location where you have huge amount of data. And you don't know the company which the apps which you are working maybe if you are using some google apps facebook app instagram app they all know who you are and they all know about all the billion users they have so they are storing all this data somewhere right in fact not just facebook google it's also your banks your colleges everyone being tracking you so they know they know about you and all this data is going in somewhere now they will be analyzing that data to generate some patents so that they can provide you good solutions, right? And so that's why it is booming nowadays. And thanks to this amazing computing power, we are able to work with big data. We have these different frameworks like Hadoop, we have Spark. So I would say big data is the another, another field which you should be thinking about. Now next is one of my favorite, which is blockchain. In fact, from, from last three to four months, I'm just hearing this thing, which is Bitcoin and blockchain. And I, I started researching about Bitcoin first, and then I realized it's not just Bitcoin. What is more impressing is blockchain. Because big, Bitcoin is just a hype nowadays. You know, people are buying Bitcoins, and that's why the price is going up. But the real technology is blockchain. I'm sure in future, every company will be using blockchain for their use. It's not just only for the digital currency we have. 
So blockchain can be implemented for at various lo various location, right? So I would say uh, if you want to learn something very new this year, go for blockchain. Last but not the least, I can say this is the most important one in this year, which is AI, which is artificial intelligence. The world is moving so fast now, everyone wants to have their own AI app, right? In fact, even if you are using mobile phone now, doesn't matter, is it iOS, is it Android or Windows, they all have their own AI assistants, right? Example, for Apple, we have Siri, for Google, we have Google Assistant, and for Windows, we have Cortana, right? So we have all this amazing app. It's not just about those assistants, it's also about software development. Now, what if I say in future, so whatever job we do, example, as a tester, we, we, we test, as a, as a developer, we develop application. So everything will be done by AI. Think about that. The testing, the manual testing will be also done by uh, AI, and it's quite possible. So you just have to train uh, AI how to test an application by passing manual uh, input and output. That AI will test the software. Development of software can be also done by AI itself. So that's the future. So don't, get, don't stay behind this market. What if I say you can learn AI and you can build AI solutions which can build softwares, right? So AI will be implemented everywhere. In fact, nowadays we, have, we are using this thing which is Google driverless cars from Google. Uh, same will be implemented by Tesla. So they all are using AI and I would say go for AI. So again, AI, thanks to this machine learning, deep learning concept, AI get going on top now. So I would say start learning AI. Now, question arises if you want to learn all these technologies from where you will learn and which one to select. Now, even I get confused sometimes, you know, which one to select because I want to learn everything. The only problem is you cannot be master of all because I believe in one thing. You should be jack of all and master of one. Now, how can you be jack of all? You don't have to do a particular course to understand them completely. What you can do is, so let, let's say, let's talk about IoT. So what you can do is you can spend one day researching about IoT. So go to Google, go to YouTube, uh, go to some uh, online free courses and learn about tech te that technology. And see if, you, it is mo if it motivates you, go ahead with that. But if it doesn't motivate you, that's fine. Go with the next technology, learn about big data and spend one day and you will understand the basics of it. I'm not saying in one day you will understand everything. That's impossible, but then you will understand something. And that something is important if you want to go ahead. So I would say go to Google and search for the best resources, get the basics clear, and then you can think about the actual implementation or how to uh, spend your entire one year in that technology. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video, learning, knowing about this, these five technologies. So let me know in the comment section and like the video if you have liked it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.